This week's plugin is something that exists in every professional broadcast package out there. It is so awesome that you can now add this to OBS. It's called the Downstream Keyer and it's easy to add and use. It allows you to add assets like video or audio over the top of any scene without directly adding those assets into the scene. There is a link in the description so you can download it and check it out for yourself. So let me show you how it works. So to install this, we're going to go to this page right here and we're going to click the download button. Now the links to this are in the description. You can see that we have a Windows install and a Windows install Linux and Mac OS. We're going to use the Windows installer. Pretty sure this Windows zip is just the files to put in the folder. It's a lot easier to just use the installer. So we're going to download that. And once it's downloaded, we're just going to go into our downloads folder and I'm going to right click and extract all. And it extracts it. We can just go into the folder and I'm going to go ahead and click on the downstream keyer installer. I'm going to click on more info and then run anyway. Then you want to verify that it is the proper location for your OBS. If it is not, go ahead and click browse and go to it. Yours is probably located in C program files, and then it will be OBS-Studio, like you see there, OBS-Studio. Mine is actually E backslash OBS-Studio, so I'm gonna leave it there. Click Next, and we can call it whatever we want. Next, and Install, and Finish, and now, Downstream Keyer is installed in our OBS. Now the first thing we're gonna do once we have it all installed is go up into Docs in OBS and we're gonna select Downstream Keyer. It's gonna put it over here. If it doesn't and if it's just floating like this, all you have to do is grab it and stick it wherever you want in your overlay. And there you go, now it's in there. And we see we've got a name up here. We can rename this. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rename it. And we're gonna go with WOB, which stands for Wheel of Blame. It's a thing that I use on my live stream. And then all we have to do is go down into scenes and we're gonna add a scene. And this one, I'm gonna call this DK for downstream keyer. And then we're gonna call it oh, WOB. And then we're gonna add MFJ there for the source that I'm going to add. And then I'm gonna go into our media sources and I'm gonna go ahead and add W-O-B-M-F-J, and there we go. Now, why did we do this? Well, we want, we want to know that this scene is really for the downstream keyer, which is what DK is for. Um, and I like to call all my downstream keyer stuff that, just so I know. And then what we got to do is go here and select that, and there we go. Click OK. And this is what this looks like. It will appear over top of any scene. It's very, very cool. So, all we have to do to add this to the downstream keyer is click this little plus right here while we have the scene selected. And boom. So now we have this in the downstream keyer. So if I go to any other scene, and then I just select it, it will play right over top of that scene. But the best part is, if I transition to another scene, it will still continue to play right over top until it's finished. And then, of course, it will disappear if that's how you have it set up. Or if you have it set up to loop, it will loop. It will just keep playing. If you want it to stop, all you have to do is click the pause button. So if I play it, I can just click the pause button. It will immediately go away. Now, that's awesome because I don't have to put the Wheel of Blame, which has 25 entries, in every single scene that I want to use it in. I can just create a wheel of blame in the downstream keyer. I can select anything I want and it automatically plays over top of any scene that I'm in. So maybe something like that isn't useful to you, but let's go ahead and do another one, DK, and we'll call this one, I'm ready. And we'll click OK. And then what I'm gonna do is click the plus here and we're gonna add a media source. And in this case, We'll call it I'm ready. We're going to click browse. We're going to go ahead and add something from our live soundboard. Click OK and OK. And this is super loud, so I'm going to make sure that I adjust the volume down so it's not blasting somebody's ears. 
but this is an audio clip that we would use in a soundboard. So all I have to do is go up here and click this dial, and then I can go and add, and we'll call this soundboard, and bada bing, I can select soundboard, select the I'm ready, click the plus right here, and now I'm ready is in there. So now any scene that I go to, if I go ahead and select this, you'll see that clip is playing right there. I can add a soundboard down here in scenes, add it to the downstream keyer, it can appear in every single scene. So one of the other ways that I like to use this, and you wanna make sure that you go ahead and you pause these after they're done, especially if you have them on the loop. Here's another way that I really like to use this. So let me click the plus, we're gonna to go to DK, and we're gonna call this alerts. Because who really wants to add alerts to every stinking scene? Or maybe you're changing scenes when alerts come in or something. It's just a pain in the booty. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go to our browser and we'll call this alert. And what I'm gonna do is we'll do 1920 by 1080. And I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna grab our alerts from here and we're gonna come into here and we'll paste them in there. If we wanna use the audio from the alerts, we'll go ahead and control the audio via OBS. And click OK. And so there we go. If I save, that guy will disappear as you'll see here in a moment. There we go. All right, so now we have our alerts in here. All we have to do is click this little gear add and we'll go with alert and boom and then we'll select the alerts and we're going to go ahead and add in our alerts so now if we just keep that selected all the time no matter what scene we're on our alerts are going to play let me show you we'll go here and we're just going to emulate and we'll kick off our subscriber alert and there we go our alerts are playing no matter what scene we're on and what I'm gonna do is go back over here, show you that all the alerts will play as well. So if we go over here, there we go. That one played. It plays over top of any scene because of course we have it turned on. But you know what the best part about this is? If I have the alerts turned on, well, I can also go over here and I can turn this on as well. It will play through any scene. And then if I go ahead and I kick this off, boom, it's over top of that other thing that it's over top of. So you can use the downstream keyer to add all kinds of layers to your live stream for things that you don't wanna have to import into every scene. Well, you just create scenes down here and you use the downstream keyer to give you everything that you want at your fingertips at any time. And the best part is that these can all be hotkeyed. Let me show you. So if we go into hotkeys right here, and all we have to do, it's actually right here. If we go, let's say we wanted to do the wheel of blame stuff. So it says show on DSK1, and you have to remember that DSK1 was what this was called before we changed the name. If we go out and we come back in, it's probably gonna be correct. But either way, we can make the key backspace right here like that and click apply. And now when we click the backspace key, it's automatically gonna play it. If we click it again, it's automatically gonna stop playing it. So you can literally hotkey all of these. For instance, let's go ahead and do the soundboard one as well. So we'll go into hotkeys and we're gonna go to the I'm ready right here. And we go to the soundboard and we can make this whatever hotkey we want and click apply and okay. And we don't physically have to be on there, but when we click it, there we go. We can see that it's playing, we can stop it. You can literally set these up so that you can use them in any scene that you want and even hotkey them. I love the downstream keyer, it's an awesome tool. This is a clip from this week's episode of Stream on the Edge, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know about it in the comments. If you wanna see the full episode, you can click on this link right here. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.